Hey guys, my name is Dan Moore. I'm the executive chef here at Burton Max's. I'm going to show you how to make one of our signature um, appetizers, the um, onion soup dumplings. Ready? So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a nice warm saute pan with a little bit of butter in it. Then I'm going to take an onion, slice it down. We're going to saute this onion, get it all caramelized. Add a touch of salt and pepper to that. what's going to make the sauce for the dumplings. We're working on both the filling and the sauce simultaneously. So what we're going to do is I've got the onions caramelizing, then we're going to add brandy, and we're going to add sherry and white wine to that. Flame that off and reduce it down. We're going to add a mixture of our mixture of uh, fresh herbs. That's going to be um, sage, oregano, thyme, and parsley. And then I'm gonna put, we'll let that come down till it's almost dry. Then I'm gonna put in roasted chicken stock and veal stock. Then we're gonna reduce that again. And then once that's reduced down, I'm gonna strain off the onions and we're gonna reserve the liquid. That's gonna be our sauce for the dumplings. And the onions get turned into the filling for the dumplings. Just need a little more time on those. Oh yeah, look at those onions. So then we're going to add the alcohol. And you want to take the pan off the fire when you're adding the alcohol because it will flame up. And you don't want to get the taste so far. So like I said, we're going to take this down until it's almost dry, until it's set. Then we're going to add roasted chicken stock, veal stock, and the fresh herbs. all burned off from the alcohol. We're going to add the meal stock and we're going to add the roasted chicken stock and the fresh herbs. Alright, so at this point that is going to simmer down and completely reduce We'll reduce it by probably 75%. So it takes a little while to make make this part of it. But essentially what you're making is a condensed version 
of dumpling or of uh, onion soup. Okay, and then we're going to strain off the onions, like I said before, which then you end up with a product like this. This is the caramelized onions with the fresh herbs, just separated out from everything else. Okay, and then we're going to take wonton skins, put a little bit of egg around the outside. about a tablespoon of the onion filling. And then I found the easiest way is to kind of put it in that bowl in your hand, just kind of push it down a little bit, and then you just pull everything up at the top, give it a little pinch to get it nice and tight, and that's one of our dumplings. What we do at the restaurant, we take these at this point, and we'll put them in the uh, freezer just to let them set up before we fry them. But let's go fry a couple. All right, so here we've got our dumplings. This is the plate that we serve them on. So we're going to do six dumplings. And we have two fryers. And we fry at two different temperatures. The one on the right is set at 275 because we want to get want to get make sure that things are cooked, the fillings are cooked, um, the inside of the chicken that we do for chicken and waffles is cooked, um, but you don't want the outside of anything to get too brown. So we've got the fryer temperature turned down just a little bit on the right the right side fryer. The left side is normally set at 350. Three so. All right, and then I'm going to show you, this is how reduced that the liquid from the onions that we just were working with gets. That's not, that's not thickened with any other, any other ingredients, that's just reduced, um, essentially, onion soup. are brown enough nice, but we got to make sure that the insides are nice and hot too. I'll give my, my line cooks thermometers so that they can make sure that the internal temperature is hot. Um, a lot of the times when you're frying things, they will float when they're done. Um, with these, they do stay, they're pretty, pretty dense filling, so they will sink. Um, what I'm looking for, I've been doing these a long time. Um, I know how long that, that individual dumpling is going to take in 275 oil and you basically are looking for a golden brown all the way around and then we'll pull them up we'll put them in the hot sauce and then we'll top it with gray air cheese and throw it under the salamander for anyone who doesn't know can you explain what a salamander is the salamander is essentially a an upside down broiler the heat the heat device is above the grate and it's on a on a sliding shelf so you can pull it out you can adjust the, the grate up and down so that you can figure out, you can really dial in how close you're getting something to the fire. And it's usually used for finishing and browning, browning the tops of things. Alright,
Alright, so they're at a point where they're just about done. So what we're going to do is ladle this sauce with onion soup. Right into this plate. Then we're going to pop these out. And we're going to just set them right in there. Then we're going to top the whole thing with gray air cheese. People can get, it and get them off the plate easily. That's it. Onion soup dumpling in the window, please. Thank you, Chef. Get these onion soup dumplings. Hold on. Come right over here. Bring them out right out to the table. All right. Come All right, let's go. No problem. Fresh onion soup dumplings here. Here we go. Thank Some onion soup much. dumplings. Enjoy them, okay? Thank Say you. hi. Hi. Hello. Yummy, yummy. And there we have it. Our signature onion soup dumplings. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye, bye. See you next time. Yeah. <laughs>